As we reported at the top, President Obama performing one of the most painful duties of his office today, serving as consoler in chief, once again comforting the families. This is his 10th time visiting a community after a mass shooting. He and Vice President Biden visiting the growing memorial right there in Orlando. ABC's Lindsay Janice is there tonight. Tonight, President Obama and Vice President Biden in Orlando, meeting with survivors and families of the victims of the nightclub massacre. The president and vice president laying 49 white roses at a memorial to honor each victim. These families could be our families. In fact, they are our family. They're part of the American family. Today, once again, as has been true too many times before, I held and hugged grieving family members and parents and they asked, why does this keep happening? This is the 10th time President Obama has acted as consoler in chief, visiting the site of mass shootings. Newtown, Connecticut in 2012, Charleston, South Carolina last year, and now Orlando. The notion that the answer to this tragedy would be to make sure that more people in a nightclub are similarly armed to the killer defies common sense. And if we don't act, we will keep seeing more massacres like this. Earlier today, one of the first funerals, friends and family saying their goodbyes to loved ones. 20-year-old Louis Omar Ocasio Capo and 37-year-old Kimberly Morris, a bouncer at Pulse nightclub. She just moved to Orlando two months ago to help her mother and grandmother. And David, this is that memorial so precious it's been covered to protect it from the rain. And just as the president left town, a rainbow over the city. David.